I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe. That's just how it goes, cause I like the G'day guys and welcome back to another episode of this Nathan Line career mode in Don Bradman Cricket 17 and uh, finally we're back. Um, we've had a bit of a break, probably about a week and a half I think and uh, to all my uh, subscribers out there, I apologise for that. I've just been pretty cramped with things like uh, homework and uh, also getting things prepared for the new IPL series coming up which we might as well address now. Um, so as I said, our next series will be an IPL uh, tournament. I think there's like seven rounds and then there's semi-final, then the final, if we reach it, hopefully we will. Um, to all you guys out there that chose the Big Bash League, don't worry because uh, that'll be a series in the future, maybe when uh, the 2017-18 Big Bash comes around at uh, towards the end of the year. That's when we might play the uh, Big Bash, but you never know, it could be a bit earlier than that. Uh, but as you know, there's eight teams in the IPL. Um, I'll read them out to you guys now. You've got the uh, Royal Challengers Bangalore, Kolkata Knight Riders, uh, Mumbai Indians, Chennai or Chennai Super Kings, Kings 11 Punjab, I think that is, um, Sunrisers Hyderabad. Uh, sorry if these pronunciations are terrible. And then the last two, the Delhi Daredevils and the Rajasthan Royals. So there's the eight teams. Uh, once again, there'll be another straw poll in the comments. You can go and choose the team that you want me to play with. Um, so uh, that episode, or the first episode, will probably be uh, uploaded maybe next Wednesday. Uh, I'll check the results that uh, Monday before that, and we'll go on from there. So uh, yeah, here we go. Back with the Nathan Mine career mode. And uh, let's quickly check what we've got next. It's been that bloody long since my last episode, nearly two weeks. Um, it is, so oh, the T20 Clash is finished, and, alright, here we go, ODI Tri, oh, that's right, we had the Tri-Series, how could I forget that, so we've got, uh, Australia, Pakistan, and, uh, India, so in this episode, we'll play the second game in the ODI Tri-Series against Pakistan, we should have a fair bit of experience against Pakistan, because we've had the ODI, T20, and Test Series, so, You'd think we'd uh, know what we're coming up against. But uh, yeah, after all that chitter chatter, we might as well head into the uh, 24th episode, I think, in this uh, Nathan Line career mode. And uh, yeah, let's jump into it. Alrighty, here we are at the SCG, the Sydney Creek Ground, for this uh, one day international match between Pakistan in the Tri Series. Here's the toss, Davey Warner. Let's hope we can win one uh, for once. And of course not. Pakistan choose to bowl, uh, so we'll be sent into bat, hopefully make a few runs and then uh, make sure Pakistan don't chase it down. I think we played, we would have played India in the game one, but I think we beat them, um, pretty sure, but we'll watch the first ball and while it happens I just can't wait to get into that IPL series, um, yeah I'm just that keen for it, just been downloading all the teams and getting things set up, that's a nice shot from Warner. And they'll come back for two. But uh, yeah, once again, that'll be uploaded next Wednesday, the first episode of the IPL series. Um, but Finch and Warner get out pretty early. Smith, classy 100 once again. And then someone got a 59, which we will check. Um, let's have a look as it were brought, brought in the bowl. Um, so Finch got that 125, and it was James Faulkner with that 5 or 59. So we finished with 313. Set us up for a nice uh, win, hopefully. It's a nice score. Ooh, was there an edge there? Don't think so. Nah, no edge there. Good first ball, though. It's a dot. They need 199 of 191. Catch him. Oh, maybe not. And they've got a single for it. Um, so, yeah, they, well, they suppose they're, they're going at the runway pretty well. Um, we just definitely need a few wickets so we can slow it down a bit. Oh, that's a nice shot, but it's uh, just a dot. Catch. Oh, jeez, it's not going to be caught. And it's four. Um, it was a pretty good shot. We'll give that to him. Um, but, yeah, it could have been a catch. Just uh, wide of the fieldsman. Oh, no edge there, but we'll just appeal for no reason. And, by the way, with that 
nearly two week break, we've still been gaining subscribers. I think last time I checked, which was probably yesterday, I was on 425 maybe, uh, maybe 429, just in that region, and that's that's really good because. Um, usually when I stop uploading the subscribers stop as well but uh, you guys have been great and uh, very patiently waiting for this episode to be up and uh, yeah straight into it now good bowling so far none for six off one and a half overs that's a pretty pretty good shot and it'll be a single not the best of fielding from that uh, might have been Steve Smith there is it 49 I think he's 49 and as we reach this six ball of the over here, I've actually seen a lot of people talk about how aggressive they are on the final ball of the over. Like, let's see what happens here. And he's gone for it, and that's going to be four. That was a pretty aggressive shot, you've got to admit. Um, but yeah, I've seen a lot of people complain about that. It might be, in the, it might be almost a, a glitch or something. They're always aggressive on that six ball, but you just never know. Mizbar Al Huck with 40, and then Azar Ali, classy 86 so far. Let's hope we can get him out early. Well, not early, but uh, soon. They're going at 6.27, and they need 6.29, so pretty much matching that run rate. Catch him! Oh, I think he's dropped it. I think it's gone straight through the fingers, and it's bloody gone for four to make things worse. Old Butterfingers over there. Have a look at this one. Oh, that was an easy catch, and he's cost us four runs as well. That's horrible to see. Could have been a bloody one for 24 now. And there's another almost catch over square leg. So uh, that over finish was nine runs. Should have been only five with a wicket. Ah, oh, bloody hell. That's the region where they seem to be getting most of the singles. So what I'm going to do, um, we've got Max Outfielders five. Where is he? Uh, if we can find him. There he is, long on. We'll take him into, I'm going to say mid on. And try and entice him go over his head. Um, and if he does, he hopefully miss hit it, miss hits it, if that's a word. And uh, we grab a wicket. But uh, at the moment, as our rally is absolutely uh, killing us, I suppose. How's this one? Oh, there's an edge, and I think he's gone. It's about bloody time too. It's not Ali, it's Mizbar, but he was still looking very good as well. 64 from 76, and he is gone. Finally, we we'll grab our first wicket. It's a pretty good delivery, and he does not, uh, what's the word, challenge it. It's a pretty clear edge. Barbarism to the crease. They need 149 of 142, and that wicket should hopefully slow down the run rate. There's another dot. I'm not sure who it was, but finally someone's got uh, Azar Alam out, or Azam. Not bloody Alam, whatever that <laughs> name is. Catch it. Not quite once again. But they're hitting in the air, which is probably what we want, because that's how you get catches, basically. So I uh, wouldn't mind more of that. Akmal on strike. He's only faced one ball. Nice and fresh. Oh, get there, Gaz. Come on. Finally, we get another wicket, and I think it's... Uh, uh, what's his name? We'll quickly check. It is Akmal. He's gone. I think our only option now is to bowl Pakistan out, because they only need 64 or 59. So I uh, don't think... Um, there's, I, th I think there's a pretty good chance of them making the runs. Um, and there's another single. They just seem to find the perfect spots to hit them. As I'm still on strike. Can we follow, follow up from that ball? Yes, we can! We've bowled him around his legs. That's a beautiful delivery. And he is gone. Sorry to those headphone users out there. I've probably <laughs> nearly blown your eardrums. One of the best I've seen for a while from Gaz. That's a beauty. And uh, that could be the match winner. Need another five wickets, and into the tail we probably are now. Oh, one bounce. It was nearly another wicket too. As we go into the final ball of the over, here we go. Can we grab another wicket in this over? It'd be great. Catch it. No, geez, that's four. Pretty expensive, and we're, we've got one over left after that one. It needs to be a big one. If we can keep it to maybe under four runs... And then maybe a couple of wickets. That's a, that's definitely an ideal. Um, oh no, it's come down to the wire. They need 12 of 18, and uh, they're looking good for the win here, Pakistan. I tell you, they've done pretty well to get there. That's not a wicket, but it's a dot, so that's certainly helpful. And after this over, there's nothing I can do unless take a catch in the field. But yeah, gonna have to leave it to the other two bowlers. 
and that's a single. So I suppose it's better than a boundary, but um, yeah, definitely want to keep him to dots this over. Four left, and then 11 off 16. Um, we definitely need to think about where we want to bowl it instead of just throwing it down. We'll give it a off break, see how it goes. That's pretty wide, and it's a dot though, so it works out pretty well. Halfway through the over, Freddy's on 40, he's looking good. And it's just been, every now and then there's been a batsman, they just, just stand up, and they get like 40s and 50s. That's another single. Oh, that's going to come down the wire, I can just feel it is. I just feel helpless after this over because you just can't control the other ones. They have to bowl well and uh, you just have to pray, really. There's another single. What the hell? It's, it's probably going to be four because it's, the fields just change autom automatically. And that's four. That's probably the game right there. That's really annoying. And then, I don't... Why the hell? I swear this game's so stupid sometimes because look at that. Just have a look. I mean... I'm not sure if there's much to say here because that's just stupid. The, I didn't set that field, I can guarantee you. That's the game just being really, really dumb. So, I mean, look, what's the point of having two fields next to each other? It's just really annoying now. I'm just going to have to put him out there. Well, I mean, the game's probably over because uh, this stupid field set. I really should check every ball because um, what's, the, what's the restriction? Finishing uh, two fielders behind leg. Well, oh my God, everything's going on at the moment. Um, that sh well, we'll put him there. That should do it. I think we've got right. Yep, yeah, right. <sighs> Last ball, probably going to go for six for the win. And it's another single, so they need five off two overs. That you'd think they'd be able to do it. You're going to have to bowl very well to keep them from losing or to uh, grab the win. <sighs> All we can do is simulate, and uh, that's it probably. There it is, Pakistan win by five wickets. It was a really good game. They won it in the last over, and uh, you got to give it to Pakistan. They've done very well. Two batsmen standing up, same as us, or three even, maybe even four. You got Ali on 94, two batsmen in the 60s, and then Afridi with 41 not out. Whereas we had Smith with 125, Falkland with 59, <sighs> Kawaja with 47, and then Warner with 26 out, four top scorers. Ah, uh, it's just really, it's, oh, you know, I just hate losing, like, when it's, like, really close, I hate losing like that. I'd rather get smashed than lose by, like, a few runs or a wicket. But, uh, yeah, I guess that'll do it for this one, guys. I think we've won a game and lost a game in this series, so not bad so far. Definitely have to step it up in the next few. But uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like, and uh, also subscribe for future content, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.